Hello, Airline Slides people. My name is Henry Tenby. I am the founder of the AirlineSlides.com website, and I've got a very exciting website improvement I'd like to share with everybody. In this video, I'm going to give you a complete walkthrough in detail of our new invoicing system. Both buyers and sellers should carefully watch this video. It explains how you as a seller can now invoice your buyers and how you as a buyer can purchase and pay for your invoices. What we've done is we've made a major change to how it operates. In the past, the seller would send an invoice. The invoice was sent by email. If the buyer never received that invoice, problems would ensue. So what we've now done is we've now added a completely web-based invoicing and payment method to the auction process. Buyers can now simply go to their My Account, view their unpaid invoices, and pay them. The system is no longer dependent on email delivery. This was an important change that we feel had to be made because more and more ISPs were blocking our website emails. So please make yourself comfortable while I explain in detail how this operates. So I'm now going to explain how the new changes look for the slide buyer. If you're a slide buyer, you go to my account. When the page loads, you'll scroll down to pay, view your buying history and you'll notice here in red it says new invoices. This indicates to you that you have invoices that need to be paid. And we've modified the website so that the invoices can be paid right here on the website. They're no longer dependent on receipt of emails. So you click on this link and the ones in red are the invoices that need to be paid. So Clint Groves Estate number one, click here to pay invoice. You simply go here, you click this radio button, you select it, and then here is the screen where you can make the payment. You simply click this button and make the payment. The payment is made right here on the website. When the seller sends the invoice, our system will still send the emailed invoice as shown here. That is not going to change. However, the transaction completion is no longer 100% reliant on the receipt of this email as it has been in the past. You can, then you, once you've paid that, you can simply go back and pay more invoices. H10B Slide has two in, invoices that need to be paid, but notice H10B Slide also has a whole bunch of previous ones that have been paid. So the way this works is, if you click on either the red or the blue link for a given seller, it brings up all of your invoices related to that seller. So if I click this link, it shows me at the top all of the unpaid invoices, then it shows me the paid invoices underneath it. So if I want to pay specific invoices, I simply again click select the radio button, hit the select button, and I can pay that invoice. That's for this slide, PS8763. If I want to pay this invoice, I select this radio button, and then I hit the select button, and I can pay this invoice. Now, if I want to view invoices that I've already paid, they're right here. And if you, what happens if you click the select button on a paid? Look what happens. It shows you everything. It shows you the exact invoice that you paid, including the postage, the payment fee, the total amount. You can't repay the invoice, but all the information is here for you. And it does say this invoice has already been paid. So all the information that you'll ever need is on this screen. Now, you can also hide paid invoices. How do you do that? Notice some of the items have a checkbox, checkbox, okay? But unpaid invoices, of course, you can't hide. But how come we only have one, two, two checkboxes from H10B slide, yet he has at least half a dozen items that have been paid for? The reason is because many different items are attached to the same invoice. So if you select one, it's going to hide all of the items that were associated with that particular invoice. Notice 809, uh, if, we, if we click that, it's going to hide this particular, I'm just gonna show you, this particular item number, if you, if you click on the paid invoice, it's one, two, these three different items. So by, if, if you go back to this screen, by clicking here, you're going to hide all of those items in that particular invoice. So if you, if you go one, 
two, three, you're going to hide all of the items related to that invoice. So you're going to hide a number of them. I hope that makes sense.